good views on world welcome once again to my note reviews in 1991 mike tyson was arrested for alleged rape of 18 year old desiree washington whether you believe it or not whether it was consensual or not who knows however it seemed that he didn't have a fair trial so much so that Less than a year later, he was behind bars. And during his tenure behind bars, we wonder what went through Mike Tyson's head. Being the youngest heavyweight boxer at that time and having tons of money that you have, only at the age of 25 years old. Who knows that how this imprisonment systematically changed him. main reason for prison is for correction correction for the prison need to be corrected and also at the time it takes for adaptation especially if you're spending more than a year in prison not looking past the day you're gonna be released, but the day, the times, are you, the, the days, the minutes, the seconds you've been passed in jail, all this to be conjugated in, in your mind. It's a lifestyle, it's a new home. That's the whole premise of being behind bars and chained, t taking orders, telling when you have to eat, when you have to shower, when you have to go to bed. It's a form of reformation. After spending almost a few years in prison, Mike Tyson was finally released from jail on parole in March of 1995. While he was in prison, he converted into Islam, which means he became a Muslim, which effect, which essentially probably changed the way he sees life, the way he will act in life. However, his personality, meh, not so sure if that affected that much. However, the biggest speculation is that, will he be the same? Will he be the same actor that we knew from the past, even though he haven't trained, he haven't fought in, in a few years, does he still have it? Mars say that sports fighting is physical. However, everything is mental, especially if you have the, the desire for it. It's in your mind, you dream about it, you visualize yourself winning, not giving up hope. That was the case with Mike Tyson. And I'm pretty sure that he sparred in prison, <clears throat> better known as, I guess, fighting other inmates that were testing him. Uh, I'm pretty sure he had the case, he had, a, he had the chance to do it still while he was incarcerated. But seeing that he did not lose a touch in his first fight, his, came, his comeback fight, we, all, we knew that he, need, he needed to train three years without Doing what you love to do, doing that, what you know to do, doing what the world knows you, you can do. That was the case for Mike Tyson in his first comeback fight. Oof, baby, he did not lose a touch. It seems that for those three years he was fighting, or it was the same Mike Tyson we know, but it was a, a comeback, a new era. Because yes, the second coming of Mike Tyson in boxing, which was pretty different than his first coming, but the proof is in the pudding. I'll let you viewers know for yourself. And that's right. Mike Dustin was still the top dog.
regardless of what you think about Mike Tyson, right, that he's a irrational person, a person with anger issues, a dumb person, or whatnot. You can't deny that he's one of the greatest boxers of all time and the youngest heavyweight boxer of all time. One of the longest knockout records of all time. But that's about besides the point. Rather you think that all the things that happened to him from being a semi-homeless child with no father figure, but having two prominent father figures raising him, showing the craft of Boston and passing away, leaving him astray with people that were around him just to abuse him, just to use him, use his fame, use his fortune, and therefore not having his back, and spending a few years behind bars for something that was masqueraded as a crime which wasn't that all sums down to your opinion I feel that like his story is quite great even though he's not boxing any longer retire he still have an impact in the boxing world and outside the world and how the, the prison reform him well he discover it reform it in a spiritual sense not a sense that his personality change the way he act Nonsense. He was still the, you know, the cool guy, but could be a brute when he was pushed, you know, pushed by certain people, journalism, interviewers, and whatnot. That's just his mindset. That's just how Mike Tyson is. Simple as that. And that's all for today, folks. I appreciate you for watching this video. And remember, stay put, take notes, and move on to the next chapter.